So this pressure point I'm going to show you today is right in the centre of the chest and it's really useful for dispersing a feeling of fullness or dispersing and tonifying qi is what we say in acupressure. What it means in practical terms is that any feeling of fullness or overwhelm in the upper part of the chest can be shifted and moved by pressing into this point. So I've been using it a lot for the feeling of overwhelming sadness and grief. You know that feeling when you're emotionally distressed and you kind of grab for your heart, like your heart is really painful and you kind of almost need to collapse in on yourself and it's like you're trying to push the heart back into place because it feels like it's going to fall out. Um, this is not just for people who are in that kind of emotional state, it's just really useful, I find, uh, from personal experience, to relieve that um, overwhelm. It's also great for palpitations, anxiety and stress. So great for if you're going to a job interview or you have to do something where you feel a bit stressed or anxious or a little bit scared. It connects to the heart space, it's right in front of where the actual heart is, so it can help to calm any kind of erratic heartbeat. And it's also a lovely point that's used a lot in acupuncture for women who are struggling with uh, breastfeeding, so it helps with the production of milk. I have also used this point in asthma conditions, so if I'm feeling particularly wheezy or I've got a cough, if there's a lot of kind of phlegm or fluid in the lungs, then this is a great point for shifting, moving that kind of phlegmy, uh, liquidy feeling that you get in the chest. So lots of different actions and pretty easy to find. So there's technical ways for you to find this. One of them is in the fourth intercostal space. So the fourth space between the ribs and then right in the center. Another point, another way to find it is in between the nipples, but obviously gravity exists, so your nipples may not be in the same place that they used to be. But it doesn't actually matter, because what you can do is take your four middle fingers, or your four fingers, and then just press them into the center of the chest, around where the heart is. And you can just kind of pad around that place, maybe you'll find some tender points. And you don't even have to use the fingers for this. I quite like to just take my palm over the space. The palm has a really loving, warm, healing quality that perhaps the fingers don't have so much. So if this is more of an emotional issue, it might be nice to take the palm. And you still have the connection there between your hand and the point. You could take one hand on top of the other and then close the eyes. See if you can feel the beat of your heart beneath your hands or your fingers. And without judging, just notice how fast or slow, how consistent the beat of your heart is. And it's completely okay if stuff comes up, if you start to feel emotion or if this provokes you to cry or whatever else might happen as a result of just taking a moment for yourself, let it flow. That's really the point of what we're doing, it's to release stagnation, it's to move energy, it's to release emotional distress. So be patient with yourself. And I also like to imagine that I have a warm palm on my upper back, somewhere in between the shoulder blades. So maybe you could just feel a hand lovingly rested on the back. And you could imagine or feel the connection of those two warm hands touching the front and the back of the body. And as you hold and breathe into this space, into the point, maybe you can observe a feeling of opening in the chest area, enabling you to take a deeper breath into the sides of your ribs.
Maybe you could allow a deeper exhalation or maybe a sighing sound to come out of the mouth. And you can sit here holding the point, holding your chest for as long as you like, for as long as it feels comfortable and as long as it feels useful. And then whenever you finish, just let yourself rest for a moment with the hands down and see if you can still observe that feeling of warmth in the chest. That feeling of loving connection with yourself around the heart space. And the space inside the chest allowing you to breathe. 